Okay, so I know, I hope, all you people in on-site land know who I am, but for those of you in online land, I'm Jana Memel, the Executive Director, and this is Randy Levinson, is the, one of the two directors of the department. And we're very, very excited to have you all here, and we want to start off by thanking Dr. Stevens and Sue Raleigh and Martha Weeks, and especially Sarita Sanjikomo and Mahina Duran and for making this happen, and Elon for the amazing lights, and Jimmy Tilly who does absolutely everything to help our students. So we want to thank you all. And now, <laughs> now here's the opening remarks. Um, so we're, we're really, really, really proud of the nominees. And Randy's going to talk a little bit about how people came to be a part of the show. But we also want you who came who aren't nominees to know we're proud of you, too. Just because you're nominated or you're getting an award, that's one thing. But every person at MPT is an artist. And a lot of you have struggled to get here. A lot of you have had to tell parents or other people that this is the path you want to trod and not a path they decided you should trod. A lot of you borrow lots of money to come here or worked years and years and years to save the money to come here. A lot of you have fought gender things. A lot of you have fought a lot of things to say, I'm a filmmaker, I'm an artist, and I believe in myself. And we want you to know we believe in you. And we want you all to applaud yourselves, because you deserve it. And one of the really, really remarkable things about tonight is not only do we have on-site people nominated, but we have online people nominated. We have people from other departments who are also filmmakers nominated. And something that I'm really proud of is we have 15 women in different directing categories nominated. So if you think of the fact that at the Oscars, they only have one woman a year, sometimes, Think of what we're doing here, and our women are going to go out, and they're going to change that. And we're really blown away by some of your work. So Randy is going to talk to you now about how this process occurred. I'm first going to say that I've been accused tonight of being overdressed. No. So I want you to take this in no, once a year that this happens. <laughs> So probably most of you know how this was decided, but um, just so we were all clear, we invited everyone to submit anything that they wanted to in those categories that we have that we have designated. And from that, we I think we got about I think close to like 300 people who who uh, actually submitted material. We then had faculties and instructors going through it to call down to the nominees that we have tonight. And then after that, we invited um, some really prestigious industry professionals uh, to assess the work, and the ones who got the highest rankings are the actual winners. So that's how that was done. I'll talk a little bit about who those um, judges were a bit later in the program. So we'll start with best documentary. So Jonathan Crosby, do you want to come up? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, for the documentary category, we hope that submissions would shed light on previously underexposed topics, but equally important that they should have a foundation based in good storytelling with strong characters and production values. This year's competitors more than accomplished this, while at the same time creating films that are honest, thought-provoking, entertaining, and moving. So the nominees for Best Documentary are... My name is Salt Seabee. I'm nominated for Best Documentary. It's called Anxiety. Thank you. 
Nanako Fukui, Moto Art, Part 1. Curious about places we haven't been, and realize that one story could always enlighten others' lives. With stories, even the most unconspicuous things can be unique and sparkling, like a piece of metal. Well, let me be the storyteller this time. Uh, my name is Joshua Montiel, and I'm nominated for Best Documentary in Pyrite Timmy G. When I first started, I remember laying in bed, and I would be up at night like, wow, I can't wait. I want to do this. That was a long time ago. I guess then it was a dream. Now it's a frustrating, crazy dream. <laughs> my name is Danielle Thomas. I am nominated for Best Documentary. And the award goes to, oh, we have two. It's a tie. Nanako Fukui and Salt Sibi. I'm not sure if Nanako is here. Oh, are you, are you going to accept? All right. Hello, everybody. Um, I'd like to thank Janice Engel, my wonderful wife, Katie, uh, for being in the documentary, and everybody else involved, and this wonderful school that we all are lucky enough to attend. Thank you. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm not Nanako. I'm just helping her to take this award. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, she's unable to attend today because she's preparing her shoot for tomorrow. So thank you, guys. And the award for best music score will be presented by Brad Hughes. Hi, everybody. Good evening. I'm Brad Hughes. I'm the Department Director for Music and Sound Design. Uh, the music score is such an incredibly important part of any film or any visual media, for that matter. It telegraphs the emotional arc of the narrative of the story and is capable of speaking uh, directly to the emotional content of the viewer. So we're very proud uh, to highlight some uh, exemplary work in music scoring at uh, this year's awards. Um, so, this year, the uh, nominees are, are going to play. I always believe that everything has its own stories. Just so we know things that happened a long time ago. Remember legends from people who we might never have met. Curious about places we haven't been. And realize that one story could always enlighten others' lives. With stories, even the most unconspicuous things can be unique and sparkling, like a piece of metal. Well, let me be the storyteller this time. All right, well, keep on playing and hopefully... Keep rolling it. That was documentary. My name is Jonathan Gilland. I am nominated for Best Music Scoring for ACS France. Jonathan Galon, Philippines Livelihood.
Veronica Grisham, Knock. Aftab Hafiz, Esperanza. Uh, my name is Badr Tahir. I'm nominated for the film Air for Best Directing, Best Editing, and Best Music Score. I keep having this dream. I don't know what it means. Tell me. I can only hold on to fragments. Every time I try to grasp it, it seems to shatter. And the award goes to... Jonathan Galland. Jonathan, are you in the room? I'm here. Hmm? Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. There he is. There he is. Oh, well, come up. Jonathan. Yes. There he is. Hey. hey. A long walk. Thank you, Brad. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I would like to thank uh, some of my instructors here, Steve Romanko and uh, Ken French and Jason Martineau for their very uh, great insights. And of course, all of you guys for uh, your support. Enjoy the show. And now, now to present the best sound design, Steve Romanko. Howdy. Uh, well, 50% of what we experience when we go to the movies is sound. And we in sound design are very happy uh, to be here tonight and to be included with our creative partners and to be represented by these amazing nominees for best sound design. My name is Jonathan Gilland. I am nominated for Best Sound Design for ACS France. Uh, my name is Jenning Li. I'm nominated for Best Sound Design for, uh, for BRA. My name is Jasmine Serrano. I worked on uh, Steve's Catch, which was an animatic for the Story Club. And the award goes to, for best sound design, Jonathan Galland.
Thank you so much, everyone. It's an honor. <laughs> and presenting the award for best editing is Leah Garcia. Right, so everyone had like this really long, elaborate thing, and I have a very small sentence. <laughs> so basically, the editor gives shape to the film and tells the story. A lot of times, many people, when they watch a film, editing is overlooked. So today, we honor these wizards behind the curtain that make the film happen. <laughs> so the nominees are... Uh, my name is Kai Xiang Cheng. I'm also nominated for Best um, Editing for Esperanza. Cynthia Chen, Ka 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 Ka. Uh, my name is Sam Rollins. Um, my film, uh, Penny Saved, was nominated for Best Editing. Uh, my name is Batter Tahir. I'm nominated for the film Air for Best Directing, Best Editing, and Best Music Score. I keep having this dream. I don't know what it means. Tell me. I can only hold on to fragments. Every time I try to grasp it, it seems to shatter. Uh, my Chinese name is Tian Yuan. My film is Somebody New. How long have I look? I think y'all got the wrong floor. Girls is one up. Hi, I'm Jonathan. Oh. You keep hanging out with this freak, your business is gonna disappear. What makes you think? You got the right to do whatever you want, whenever you want, to whoever you want. All right, and the award goes to Kai Sian. Kai. Kai and Cynthia. I am asking for your help. I need your help, and you won't give it. All those people out there that are in need. Some of them need money too. Oh, thank you so much. It's mine. Sorry, Miss Skyler. I needed the money for Sophia. Okay, thank you so much. Um, it's my pleasure to walk, out, uh, walk with all these talented people here, uh, all my friends. Also, I want to thank the director, Kai Xiang. It's, uh, provide the opportunity for me to with, with him. And uh, thank you, uh, Academy of Arts, for uh, providing this uh, environment for us to make our dreams come true and uh, teach us how to tell a story. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Um, it's, it's really an honor. So I'm not really good at this. So thank you. Thank you, everyone, who's been helping us with this project. Thanks. So before we move on, I wanted to talk about some of these luminaries that we have in our audience today who were very gracious and flew out from New York and up from L.A. to be with us. Um, the first person I wanted to, and they're going to be here tomorrow at 79 New Montgomery. They're going to be part of a panel discussion where you can ask questions about the industry, and they're going to talk about the motion picture and TV industry as well. So we invite you there at 9.30 a.m. tomorrow. First person I wanted to talk about was Fred Seibert. His Wikipedia page describes him as a serial entrepreneur, American television and film producer, and for good reason. He was the first creative director of MTV and the last president of Hanna-Barbera Cartoons. He's the CEO of Federator Studios, the world's largest network for animators, artists, gamers, and entertainers. He's been an angel investor in various startups, including Tumblr, which I know you all know about. 
and has been the producer of Fairly Odd Parents and Adventure Time. Please welcome Fred Seibert. Can you stand up? No? Claire Kilner, acclaimed television and film writer-director, started out working in theater as a stage manager. But when she heard a friend of a friend was making a short film, the news ignited a spark in her, which led her, make it, led her into making a short do documentary about a writer's journey traveling through Spain, learning everything on the job. She had no experience before that, as I recall. She followed that up with her first feature, Janice Beard, 45, WPM, which premiered at the Cannes Film Festival, then followed it up with, numerous, with a couple of rom-coms, How to Deal, starring Mandy Moore, The Wedding Date, starring Deborah Messing, Amy Adams, and Dermot Mulroney, and she's currently a very sought-after episodic TV director, Claire Kilner. Roy Langbord has had a prolific career as a TV executive, producer, and entrepreneur. In charge of all business and sports events and specials for Showtime, he was responsible for some of the biggest boxing deals in the history of television. He produced two documentaries, one about the life of Muhammad Ali and the other about doping in sports. He was intricately involved, along with Fred Seibert, in the founding of Next New Networks, a producer of online video networks, and a media company allowing viewers to contribute, share, and distribute content. YouTube snatched it up, enabling its biggest leap into creating its own content. Please welcome Roy Langbord. Unfortunately, our last person who was up is coming up, Ken Hickson, got stuck at the airport, mechanical mm -hmm. failures. He apologizes. He is dying to meet all of us, so we're going to arrange that at another point in time. So Randy wants me to tell this story, which I was supposed to tell as part of my beginning speech, but I got nervous and forgot it. Um, so three years ago was the first time I actually was at Townsend, and it was for the next Step Fest. And we did a tour, and I had never seen the sound stages, and I stumbled across the bathroom set, and I fell in love with AAU. And the reason I fell in love with AAU is because I'd made, by that time, about 100 movies, and I crouched in more bathtubs and behind more toilets holding monitors. And I thought, if somebody cares that much about filmmakers, that they're actually going to build a set with flying walls for, for a bathroom, then this is the place I want to be. And you guys don't realize how remarkable it is to be somewhere with sound stages, with standing sets. I mean, most filmmakers don't get to work on that kind of stuff. And I think it's a sign of how much President Stevens and all the people who run the university really do care and invest in what we're doing, that they give us virtually any kind of facility for filmmaking or any toy or tool, whether it's drones or Alexas or portal stimulants, which might be the next way we shoot movies, um, to play with. So there's my bathroom story that Randy wanted me to tell. Um, so we were curious to hear about what the nominees felt about um, AAU and what they've gotten out of uh, the, the courses here. So we, we created this little video clip. Um, we'll, we'll get to hear them. Maybe. The most important thing I've learned in the, in the school is the production. It helped me a lot as a director to understand how each department works. So far I've learned the ins and outs of like just how to film. I've never really filmed before. I have so much opportunity to practice. I've learned to collaborate with as many projects as you can find your hands on. It's just really great experience on set around the academy and in class has been really awesome. I came here not knowing anything about DAWs or how sound even worked with film. When I learned about all of it, it blew my mind. So, I mean, I, I got everything that I needed, really.
I guess it gave me a chance to hone in on my skills and my craft, and I wouldn't have gotten it anywhere else. All the production design, the basic skill. And I've got a lot out of that, learning the technical side of filmmaking and just better ways to tell your story. It's made me smarter in how I approach it. It really taught me a lot about the technical side that I wouldn't have looked into on my own. Definitely technical skills. Um, really great contacts. I've met some really cool people, I think. Because we have so many international students. I was able to build up one of the best crews, I think, that I've ever had. Um, I also got um, some great relationships with some really cool people, um, instructors and um, fellow students as well. The first day I stepped into school, I was really like an um, antisocial type of person. And uh, now I just I feel like my heart is filled with big love. Going to the Academy of Arts certainly opened my mind up to um, more options within the filmmaking field. It also teaches me how to adapt yourself to this career. I have a much better understanding of um, just the way film industry works, how people work together. I think it really helped me figure out what I wanted to do. There's a lot of different resources available to me here at AAU that help me learn what I want to be doing in my career in the future. Speaking about collaboration, Rob Martin is here to present the award for Best 234. Yeah. So, for those of you who don't know what 234 is, it's the chaos that hits the undergrad department every four to five weeks. And 234 is a class where every person in it directs, every person in it writes, and every person in it produced, and they shoot scenes, and Melissa Seidman spends endless amounts of time <laughs> casting these scenes with real actors. So, Rob? Thank you. Um, and we reel in editing department, production design, cinematography, and sound. You all make it happen, so thank you. Um, the nominees for Best 234 Scene Production Laboratory, that's also the name of the class. Hi there, uh, my name is Guillermo Arcaya. I'm nominated for the 234 scene category. Jesus fucking Christ, man, what the hell are you doing? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I know a lot about you. <laughs> I got a lot of other things to do tonight, so. My name is Matthew Kewen. I was nominated for Best 234 Scene. I was a director. My name is Austin Rubelkava. Uh, I was nominated for the Best 234 Scene for Stained. When you're done grieving, you're gonna come sprinting back to me to fill that void. You're gonna kill my family. That's what you do. Just a, just a heads up, in this class, three people made each one of these films happen. So I just wanted to acknowledge um, uh, the, the, I'm sorry? The team of boxes. Matthew Kuhn, Quentin Walker, and Austin Rublokaiva. I made you watch just oh, about the yes, best movie yes, that has ever... Yes, it was a ever... garbage film. A garbage horror flick. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you know what? Ah! You know what? What? It was more, if, if anything, what? it was more junk food than garbage. Okay, sure, because then... Garbage-ish. Matthew Kewen, 
director of boxes. Um, <laughs> two, three, four is a really great um, class because it's basically boot camp for filmmakers, and it's just really great to kind of um, collaborate with people like Austin, who wrote boxes, by the way. Um, and it's really fun to work with you, and just because you don't know these people, they're gonna throw you into it, and you get like two weeks to like make something really great. And it's a lot of fun, a lot of work. We annoy everyone in every department to help us make something really awesome. And I appreciate everyone for their work and helping us make this. And um, yeah, thanks a lot. Um, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to the uh, cast and crew. They were amazing to work with. And Quentin, who's not here, he didn't die or anything. He's just not here. I don't and, know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want to say thank you and thank you to Rob for being such a great teacher yeah. and so supportive, and Chris for being an amazing production designer. So. <laughs> And I am going to do the best music video. So um, these are the nominees. Mu Feng Han, Star Boy. Junji Matsumura, VXIA, Majestic Story. My name is Kun Yainta. I'm nominated for um, Best Music Video and Best Cinematography on 16090. My name is Hannah Yu. I'm nominated for Best Music Video. Hao Lian Zhang, Pigeon. goes to Hannah Yu and Paris Hugh. Female directors, female filmmakers, film. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Female producer. Okay, um, I'm really, really want to thank the team that we had a great team doing this music video, and I thank McCor, who's not here today. He's a wonderful instructor, and I thank Jenna. You might forgot about it, but you helped me with the contract between the band, and um, yeah. Uh, I'm nervous and uh, I, I have to stop it, so I'm done. Hi, um, thank you. Thank you. I'm so nervous to do this, but um, first of all, I want to thank you, uh, my mentor, Jenna, for being always supportive to us. Um, and then I want to thank you, Hannah, for, um, as the director, you invited me to produce your this amazing music video. And last but not the least, I want to thank you all the crew members. Without the effort of all your, all your guys, um, we cannot make this happen. Thank you so much. Since, 
So now we are going to have Ken Farrow introduce uh, two different awards, the Cinematography Award and the VR 360 Award. Cinematography is the art of translating the director's vision into the camera, and tonight's nominees are... Stefan Lee, Une Nuit Silencieuse. Stefan Lee, The Gifted Ones. My name is Joshua Montiel. I'm nominated for Best Cinematography in Abandoned. Is this? ID materials. My name is Kun Yainta. I'm nominated for um, Best Music Video and Best Cinematography on 16090. Two winners, Joshua Montiel, wait for it, and Stefan Lee. Check the rest of the home. Um, so first and foremost, <laughs> I want to say thanks to Chaston for bringing me on board for this film. Uh, I want to say thank you to the producers, Danielle and Felicia, who are out there. You know, you guys made this possible. Daisy, our amazing production designer, who gave us that environment to shoot in. My amazing crew. I know June, Romel, Matt are out there, so thank you guys. Eric, I saw you too. And, you know, honestly, guys, it's, it's all the crew, you know. They, they're the ones that do it. You know, it's, it's just really honored to, to be here and, you know, to have you guys uh, give me this award. Um, thank you to the equipment room, guys. And, you know, last but not least, Mr. L. Hi guys, thank you, uh, thank you for the award. Thank you for the, uh, thank, thanks Academy. Uh, I've been here since 2013, 2012. I mean, I've been to so much, so long, so it's a long journey at the Academy. And I think the Academy ha helped me grow to be a better cinematographer, be a better person and, and, and all. Thank you. Tonight, we recognize the pioneering work of our students in the VR production program, an entirely new field, uh, one that uh, uses state-of-the-art equipment and new storytelling techniques. And the nominees are? Hi there, uh, my name is Guillermo Orcalla. 
uh, nominated for the VR360 category. Uh, my project is called Luigi. Friends we gather, hearts are true, spirits near, we call to you. My name is Greg Harriman. The name of my project was the Electric Unicycle Group Ride in 360. Once you get on one, it's hard to get off one. It's great for transportation, great for recreation. Once you experience the wheel, it's hard to go back to just walking or driving or even biking, you know? Uh, my name is Batter Tahir. I'm also nominated for um, Best VR for the film Like Ink. And the winner is Gregory Harriman. Once you get on one, it's hard to get off one. The feeling of effortless flight, almost, from one place to the other. Well, you know what the best is? Being able to see places you already know in a different way. So being able to go to Half Moon Bay and traverse all of the trails and all of the paths. It looks impossible, and it's not. And the hardest thing about it is getting over your fear of getting on one, and that's another beautiful thing about them. I have to say, guys, um, first of all, I'd like to thank the Academy. Very cliche. Um, most importantly, you know, Randy, you know, Stewart, Jack Perez for teaching me the essence of directing. Um, even though he's no longer at the Academy, the man who created the VR program, James Egan himself, um, I'd like to thank Kevin Coons, who was at first a guest speaker, but became a professor who motivated me to even make this film. And most importantly, to my family, who supported me this whole way, all five years, and even ride electric unicycles ourselves every day. So, <laughs> thank you, everyone. And last of all, may the fourth be with you all. who want to see VR in actual VR on May 17th and from there on in. But on May 17th, when the doors open to the public, it's spring show at, I believe, 6.30 at night. I'm sure you'll all know when. We're going to have three 360 VR stations. So all of this and more will be able to be seen in Oculus and other VR equipment. Um, and now Chris Boxell is going to do best production design. <laughs> the production designer collaborates and researches to begin. Ooh. I'll start over. The production designer works early on a production to create the visual style and collaborates with a large group of people working with the director and a big crew in the art department. Many of you know what that's like now. And the environments will help the audience understand the story and the characters. So. We have a great group of production designers nominated. Watch this. <laughs> my name is Kat Francisconi. I'm nominated for Best Production Design for my work on Schrodinger's Cat. When does exactly the quantum superposition end? And when does reality collapse into one possibility or the other? Hmm. Luo Luo, contact. My original name is Eugene Sale, and everybody call me Jean. I nominated for somebody new. How do I look? I think y'all got the wrong floor. Girls just went up. Hi, I'm Jonathan. Oh. You keep hanging out with this freak? 
your business is gonna disappear. What makes you think you got the right to do whatever you want, whenever you want, to whoever you want? Yue Zheng, ka 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 ka. I am pleased to announce the award for best production design at the next up 2018 awards to <laughs> Cat Francisconi. There was this Nobel Prize winning Austrian physicist by the name of Erwin Schrödinger. Oh my God. Why would a scientist want to harm a kitty? Just a story. Wow. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you so much. This this is adorable. This is amazing. Um, I need to start by thanking Chris Fox L. I don't know where I would be without all of her guidance and advice, being my mentor, my friend. She's it's the reason that I'm really prepared for, to leave this school this semester. Um, I need to thank all, the director, Karen, for letting me be a part of this amazing, complicated story, Deirdre for her cinematography, Laura to be my amazing set decorator. Everyone on the crew was amazing to work with. I love them all so much, and I continue to work with them. Um, all my friends and family for supporting me constantly. I, I'm so blessed to have people that I know on both sides of the country that I love and adore so much. Um, and last but not least, uh, I want to thank my family, and I need to thank my dad, who is my biggest supporter and motivation fan everything I do, and flew out here to be with me tonight, and it just <laughs> makes it an honor. Thank you so much. <laughs> you. So it's our turn to say thank you, because we have to. Um, so there's there are people who make our department work, and they don't nearly get enough credit, and it's not a short list, but that's because making movies is in a few people. So first of all, will Alf and Tanner stand up, turn around? Yeah. Yeah. So Tran and Allison. I don't know if Andy Trott is here, but certainly he should be thanked. Yeah. Alon Santiago, Anne, Galen, Patrick, Woody, Steve, William, Matt, all of you. Yeah. Now tonight, this would not have been, and I would not move through the planet without Leah Garcia. Yeah. And the other two pivotal people were, of course, Chris and Ken. So stand up and take a bow. Okay, so now Chastain and Hannah, can you come up? And Duke, you have a job too. All right. So. There's one person without which nothing happens at MPT. And this person has cast over 42, 2, 3, 4 scenes, 120, 3, 30 scenes, 60 shot in a day scenes, 15, 6, 6, 4 scenes, 30 scenes from the Lee Redmond's class, 32, 99s. 15 master thesis scenes, and 10 thesis films. There is no way Melissa Seidman should even be standing. <laughs> I've heard recently that, that she doesn't sleep. She casts people at 3 in the morning or 2 in the morning. So let's see what the directors have to say about Melissa. 
Oh, I have so many things to say about Melissa and casting. Oh my gosh, Melissa is so amazing. Oh, Melissa, oh my god. Melissa, I love her. I love you, Melissa. I love you, Melissa. Melissa is, is a super great woman. She's like the best woman I ever met. A wonderful, wonderful instructor. An amazing, like, casting director and an amazing, like, person, like, teacher at this school. She saved my ass. She is my lifesaver. Before we cast by our own, and it could be, oh my god, such a pain in the ass. She contacted with every single uh, agency to bring the best actors. She gave me her personal phone number and said, if, if you ever need help, call me. And I did. When I felt difficult to talk with actors, uh, she can directly tell them how to do and she can solve the problems. Melissa comes, all those problems just got solved. The great thing about Melissa is that um, not only does she you know, help you, you know, locate the right person for the part, but she also shows you like, you know, this is how you, know, you should, you, you, you find out if the person is the right person. She has this, like originally thoughts about actor. You you have a very great feeling about casting. Marissa really helped me a lot, a lot. Uh, she teach me a lot. I mean, I learned so much from her and she walked me through everything. She's kind of like a mentor. Not just a teacher, but also a friend, a very good friend. She's really cute. I was saying she's really cute and she's professional. She got amazing, really talent, really patient. She's very patient. She makes me feel safe. She's really sweet. So, I mean, every time she sees me, like she just smiles and she just kind of makes the whole moment better. She cares about student a lot. You really, really, really spend so much time for us. Well, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't, we wouldn't cast uh, those amazing actors without her. So, so appreciated. I feel like I can't do all the casting stuff and even my film without Marisa. I couldn't do my film, done my film without her. I'm really, I thank you, Melissa. I love you. done for me you guys are amazing I kind of feel like I died <laughs> I was like oh I was kind of a good person <laughs> so, um, I absolutely adore working here and I'm so proud of all the filmmakers here there people who aren't here tonight who've made incredible films I love sitting with you guys from when you're terrified before you go into your casting when you're like what do I think <laughs> what's gonna happen what if Jana's there? <laughs> and then we go into casting, and I love, like, some of you are super confident. You're just, like, charging out there, and some people go like this. <laughs> and I'm like, it's okay, you can ask. Um, and then I see you at your callbacks, and you're, everyone's confident by then, and I've seen you on your sets where you're doing and accomplishing incredible things. Directing is very difficult, and I'm so proud of the directing eye that I've seen from you now and how much you've all grown. And your films really move me. I adore them. It's true that I don't sleep, <laughs> but this, this is all worth it when I see your work. And then the other thing I was gonna say is I just wanna thank Jana Memel, who has done the most amazing job with the film school, and you guys have done the most amazing job with the film school, the students, the faculty. Jana, her, Randy, Ken, um, everyone that supports our department in the administration. It's been such a pleasure to be here. Jana knows me really well because I'm sitting next to Jana's great friend Roy and he, as I'm crying, which she always teases me that I cry a lot, but I'm a sort of feeling person. He passes me the Kleenex and he's like, Jana told me to give this to you. So, <laughs> I wanna thank you so much, you're amazing. Melissa. Melissa. Sit here. <laughs> <laughs>
now I'm going to uh, give the award for the best commercial or PSA. And the nominees are? My name is Jocelyn Lau. I'm nominated for um, best commercial. I produce the commercial. My dad used to say, the harder it is in the practice field, the easier it is during the game. They don't see the effort, they only judge the results. Ai Mingzhang, BMW i8, born electric. goes to uh, Sergio Mishenko. Powerade effort always pays off. My dad used to say, the harder it is in the practice field, the easier it is during the game. They don't see the effort. They only judge the results. Leave their voices behind. Because effort, effort always pays off. Thank you. Uh, recognition is always appreciated. Um, I want to express my gratitude to the rest of the crew uh, who helped during the production and also my old time friend who uh, composed the music. Uh, and I also appreciate the fact that I was able to carve out my own path in this school because um, proficiency in different uh, disciplines definitely helps a lot. Uh, thank you very much. So um, I'm very excited to introduce Stuart Thomas to present the Best Screenplay Award because Stuart's super cool. I'm super cool. <laughs> anyway, it's a delight to be here to recognize the excellence of our screenwriting students, but I'd also like to remember Mr. Robert Keats, who who founded the School of Writing and whom we all remember with a lot of love and gratitude. So thank you very much, Paul. <clears throat> and I guess here are the nominees. Destiny Davis, We Got It Made. Belinda Garcia, Talking in Cars. Shayna Stanley, The Dead Kid. Spencer Query, Patsy. So the scripts are all really, really good, and you should all be proud of yourselves. And the best script goes to Spencer Query. this makes you nervous. Um, I just want to thank everybody. I mean, I've been at this school for what feels like forever now. And I want to thank several teachers. Stuart Thomas, who's been a mentor and a, a friend of mine for, what is it, like eight years now? Something like that? I don't know. It's insane. Um, Donna, Randy, Jana, everybody. I think the direction that the writing department is going in, I hope it just continues to grow. And I hope it gets better. There's a lot of really great work coming out of it, and it's always great to be counted amongst it, so thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, so we're gonna bring Jack Perez up to do the two best 
Director Awards. Um, the first of which is Best Director Under 15 Minutes. Okay. Hi guys, you, you know, actually I want to say, I, I think you do look smashing, doesn't he? I, mean, I really do, I think this is a good look for Randy. Um, I'm impressed. You guys know uh, how I feel about directing. It's a very serious uh, business. I feel that directing can be the most deferential of professions, meaning you let everybody else make your movie, or it can be the most personal of professions. Obviously, I prefer the latter. For that reason, I think all great directors spend their entire careers striving for a deep understanding of all the departments essential for bringing his or her vision to the screen. And I think the, uh, the nominees tonight have showed that they're on the right path. So the nominees for the best director under 15 minutes are the following. Hi, my name is Olivia Crouchko, and I've been nominated for best director and best picture for the under 15 minute short film, Double Stare. My name is Chasta Noblet. I'm nominated for my film Abandoned as Best Picture and Best Director. Is this ID materials? My name is Alfonso Perez Nicolás. I've been nominated for Best Director uh, for my film Salvation. It still sucks, but it's easier. If the kids aren't safe, I'm going to take them. And the award goes to Alfonso Perez Nicolas for Salvation. How do you know Accepting for Alfonso is Morgan Halla, the writer, and Fusan New, the producer. I'm going to take them. Thank you guys, appreciate it. <sighs> what a journey. Uh, it's been a, a year since me and Morgan together and Alfonso doing Salvation. And I saw so many friends down there really help this project. I appreciate it. Alfonso right, right now he's in LA and then sadly he's heading to Spain. I bring this pin, he's a big fan of Tupac, represent him. So yeah. So many things, well, I'm kind of nervous too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to thank you, my families, everything, and, well, of course. What? Oh, thank Lucia too, um, Jack, Jenna, Randy, and Melissa, Morgan, thanks for believing me. Um, uh, Seven, I know you are there, I won't say hi for you, but, you know. And Timo, who willing to use the the one day was, well, it's everything. So, <laughs> it's for you guys. Thank you. Woo! I just want to thank uh, Fusan. I mean, this is for the best director, but I'm kind of just taking it for the best movie. Anyway. I want to thank so, Fusan so. for hiring me as the writer. I don't know why he did, because I was terrible a year ago. I'm a little bit better now. And I want to thank the director, Alfonso. He uh, really brought everyone together and made it all happen. And I want to thank my mom and dad. Thank you. Woo! So Jack is also going to do the best director over 15. Yeah, and I just want to say that, you know, it's, it's always super cool to be nominated. It's even cooler to win something. But regardless of whether you win or don't win here or anywhere else or whether you get into a festival 
or don't get into a festival. Success is not something that someone else gives you. It's important to know the value of your own work, regardless. Um, and so with that, here are the nominees for Best Director for the Over 15 Minute category. Uh, my name is Kai Shan Cheng. Um, I'm nominated for Best Directing for Esperanza. Seraph Liu, as ye so. Thanks for the hospitality. I'm sorry. Who are you? No, he's just a friend, Ma. Uh, my name is Batter Tahir. I'm nominated for the film Air for Best Directing, Best Editing, and Best Music Score. I keep having this dream. I don't know what it means. Tell me. I can only hold on to fragments. Every time I try to grasp it, it seems to shatter. My Chinese name is Tian Yuan. My film is somebody new. How do I look? I think y'all got the wrong floor. Girls is one up. Hi, I'm Jonathan. Oh. You keep hanging out with this freak, your business is gonna disappear. What makes you think you got the right to do whatever you want, whenever you want, to whoever you want? Uh, my name is Timo Yang. My film is All Dark Glitters. The client's brief asked us to... I'm a doer, not a talker. And you're never going to be able to do what you want until you can talk about it. You're such a good storyteller when you're out of your stupid head. You're the shit, dude. And whoever doesn't think so is an idiot. Hi, my name is Morat Isham. Uh, I'm the writer and director of the short film I'm Going to Paris, which is nom nominated for the category of the best directing. All I need is the envelope. Yeah, right here. Thank you very much. And the winner is Kai Sheng Cheng for Esperanza. Esperanza, calm down. I am asking for your help. I need your help, and you won't give it. All those people out there, they are in need. Some of them need money, too. Sorry, Miss Skyler, I needed the money for Sophia. Um, thank you. Um, I, I pers that's just my personal opinion, but I always think that a director is just someone who knows how to talk on a set. And so I, this cannot happen without uh, everybody's help, like all the crews in, um, for, on this project. So um, I think I've seen, um, there's just so many people sitting right here who work with me together on this production. Um, the first AD, Lee Flea, and second AD, Timo, um, um, production designer, Eugene Shi over there, and the music composer, Aptav Hafiz over there, and um, Candice, I think I saw you somewhere right here, and and the, my co-writer Joshua Renteria, and 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 there are so many people. Maybe it's embarrassing if I forgot to mention your name, but I appreciate that. It's a great honor to work with you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, so. Scarlett Zhao um, put this together, and this woman is a remarkable filmmaker. I don't know how many of you saw My Sweet Prince, which is a film she did last year, 
but she's an extraordinary filmmaker, and we're incredibly lucky to have her helping us with this. So let's give Scarlett a hand. I don't know where she went, but I know she's here somewhere. Here somewhere. So I just wanted to spend uh, just a couple of minutes talking about the, the judges and the comments that they made about all of your work of the nominees. Um, we had the fortune of securing judges at the top of their fields in every category possible. They included Howard Rosamann, a prolific producer whose last credit was the Academy Award nominated film Call Me By My Name. Chris Moore, who's, one of whose films was the Academy nominated film Manchester by the Sea. Liz Glotzer, executive producer of Shawshank Redemption, also an Academy Award nominated film and the executive producer of TV hit series The Good Fight. Barbara Fisher, TV producer, former president of Hallmark Channel, Lifetime Television, and MCA Universal. And uh, so let me tell you some of the things that they and other people talked about. Play the reel. OK. <laughs> Film is actually um, open the world for me, and I learned everything actually from the film. It's not only art, it is art, it's language, and now I have mine. It's like I, I know how to express my voice through my film. I really am fascinated with how you can tell a story, like, by using every different aspect. Knowledge or, or even expertise in multiple different fields um, to be able to come to um, a cohesive product. I want to share these stories, the way I look at them. I think in the, um, directing is a lot about perspective. Acting and theater and stuff like that, and then the two kind of just merged because I just love storytelling and I just love that kind of world and I just couldn't imagine doing anything else. And I read some uh, script of my own and one day I was thinking, why don't I put it in reality? So that, that was my motivation. It's just art. I like art. You can do whatever you want. What I like about cinematography is the sort of fun you can have creating cool shots, creating cool lighting. In my nature, I feel like I'm more comfortable be, being behind camera, and I think that what I like it. I would like to be a production designer because I would like to create worlds for other people to live in. I really love just to work with a bunch of different people and then as a, collabor as a collaboration is really um, fun. And it's just something that I don't ever want to lose because I've already developed these amazing relationships with the people I've worked with and the actors and it's just, it's just something I don't ever want to lose. I love to uh, express emotion from music and have the people receive that in the audience. Because I love entertaining people, educating them, and bringing, experience, bringing new experiences to audiences. I like playing pretend, and um, I want to film that, so. I just love the idea of taking someone on a journey and showing them maybe something they know, but showing it a different way. I wanted to be a filmmaker all my life, so that's some question I don't even answer myself. <laughs> um, because filmmaking is fun. Yes, that's it. So the uh, various people, um, in addition to ranking, the judges made comments. Um, I just wanted to just randomly, uh, we pulled some quotes um, from those uh, filmmakers. Regarding cinematography, people commented that it was visually fantastic, the work that they had seen. Visual flu style and fluid camera work are top notch. Complex information intriguingly presented with the aid of strong camera and lighting. In terms of acting, uh, some of them noted there were excellent performances. The actors brought a complexity and a sophistication to the role they had not expected. The lead actress in one of them gave a strong performance, vulnerable, conflicted, raw, and yet controlled. It's a Sophie's choice for our time. In terms of directors, 
Lots of comments, some of which are along these lines, the making of a real director. This filmmaker has a great command of cinematic language. As an audience member, I did not know what was going to happen next. Juggling all these elements shows great skill as a storyteller and a director. And as the stories themselves, wonderful storytelling and really accomplished filmmaking. Provocative, this story is about something meaningful. Beautiful realization of all the elements. Very difficult to create fear and tension in such a short time frame. This film achieves this tension effortlessly and maintains it. In a conversation that I had with uh, one of these uh, judges, um, she said, before I even could say hello, she said, these movies should be turned into feature films. So if you ever, we've, we've been saying this all along, you, you have the beginning of something really great, your short film stands on its own, and the power of your stories are such that they are, you have these people in the industry who are saying, I would pay to see this movie in a theater. So, um, Paula and Michael, so they're, they're, they're two people, um, Mike, Paula, come up, Michael Jones. Okay, so come on up. So these two people, um, they are amazing. And we don't make movies without Paula and Michael because we would destroy children and crash cars and <laughs> shoot ourselves and not with a camera and um, a lot of other things. So for those of you who don't know, Paula and Michael run physical production and they also keep our films from going bankrupt, which is a good thing and that the crew gets to eat and all that to sleep sometimes. So Paula and Michael are going to give the audience awards. So the way the audience awards went was um, we ran the best films over and under 15 minutes online for about two weeks. And every student at AAU and certainly an MPT was able to vote. And we got how many votes with? Over 100 votes. So that's pretty good. So. There you go. <laughs> and I believe we all make movies for the audience, so this is a very important award, I believe. So, so one can do under and one can do over. Okay. All right, so Paula, you do under. Yes. All right, so the nominees are. <laughs> are we done? All right. Audience so favorite, under 15 it? minutes. No, you say it. Oh, you're going to make me say it? All right. Okay. Uh, Olivia for Devils There, Danielle for Abandoned, or Alfonso for Salvation. I can't do all the last names, can I? I'm a foreigner, it's very hard. All right, and the winner is Danielle. Audience favorite. And Chastain. Come on, and Felicia. Come on, where are my blondes? So the first thing I want to do actually is, <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know, our cast and our crew were absolutely amazing. Our editing team put this together in 48 hours to submit to this festival, and the post team was absolutely amazing. And second, I want to thank my family for watching in so uh, Southern California. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Um, I left my speech in my chair, so I just want to say thank you so much to the crew, because at the end of the day, they're the ones that make it happen. You know, it doesn't matter whose story it is, whose film it is, you all work together and you collaborate to make it happen, and that's what matters about film. And Daisy, 100%. I owe everything to you for creating a world that none of us have ever seen before. That C4 looked real. It looked great. Yeah, yes, yes. It was all Danielle. No, it was Daisy. <laughs> it was all Daisy. Um, Tanner and Alf, 
Yeah. They yelled, did everything. Yelled at us and made us work in the shop and Alf threw wood at me and it was great. And <laughs> um, 100% post team, I can't thank you guys enough for coming together. Juma, Grace, and Taylor, you guys were so fantastic. And Josh for listening to me and putting up with me for the first time in your life. <laughs> Wait till you're married, Christopher, we love you. <laughs> um, and 100% to my post, or my producers, my lady producers, this is all produced by women, directed by women, and they're my sisters forever now. And I can't, we're inseparable now, it's a thing. Hey, Felicia, we really thank you. You did a lot. <laughs> Yes. Danielle. <laughs> okay, so the audience favorite uh, for over 15 minutes are. Oh, I got to read. It. Sorry. Audience favorite over 15 minutes. Asile Abalu. Uh, Isa. Isa. Sorry. Uh, Kai Hasing Cheng for Esperanza, uh, Tian for Somebody New, Timon Yang for All That Glitters, and Saraf Lu for As Ye So. And the winner is. Audience Award. Audience Award is. Uh, there's a tie. It no. looks like. No. It's, it's Kai. Okay. That's Grace, but she's in China. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> it's Grace, but she's in China. And who else? So, Kai, do you want to come up and accept for Grace? Okay, sorry. There you go. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, there are just a bunch of people that, that I I was just too nervous and I forgot to mention. So, one and the, one of the most important is the producer of Esperanza, um, Grace. She's in China right now, so I hope she's watching this. And Lackey, um, who, um, and 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 these people, and these uh, all the faculties and instructors, like Jenna Memo, and Randy, and 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 Melissa, Paula, Jack Perez, or oh, the first directing I took with you, so great. And yeah, um, just thank you for everyone who who voted for this, and everyone who loved this film, and and everyone who doesn't like it. So uh, yeah. So, yeah, thank you. So now we come to the uh, best picture for under 15. Uh, by the, the, this is from the judges, the outside industry professionals. Uh, best picture under 15 minutes. Hi, my name is Olivia Krochko, and I've been nominated for Best Director and Best Picture for the under 15 minute short film, Double Stare. My name is Chasta Noblet. I'm nominated for my film, Abandoned as Best Picture and Best Director. Who's this? ID Materials. My name is Alfonso Perez Nicolás. So this year I've been nominated for Salvation in the category of uh, short film over uh, under 15 minutes. It still sucks, but it's easier. If the kids aren't safe, I'm going to take them. And the award goes to, for under 15 minutes, Alfonso Perez Nicholas for... And Fusan. Fusan, it's actually your award. Under 15. It should actually be for... Kids aren't safe. Uh, I'm I going to sorry. take them. Want some milk? Some good milk.
milk. I love milk. Thank you. Uh, I was so overwhelming when I was get a first um, best director, although that wasn't mine. Uh, yeah. Uh, I want to thank you. I, I really forget the most important role on the post production, Lucia Ziyang Wang. She really put this effort and then has a very a big complex between everything. Um, and then she still delivers, she still believes in us. And I wonder if she can come over to share with me, that'd be great. Uh, is she here? Lucia. Lucia's here? Lucia. Yeah, I really, really appreciate it. And Lucia. also Jack, Jack Perez. To be honest with you, I really, really appreciate for you really saved this project, really saved this project. Like, uh, I would say half a year ago, I won't believe that, but right now I believe in. I believe you guys. So, and also so many things, so many people I wanna, I wanna appreciate that. Um, anyway, thank you guys, you guys rock. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, thank, thank you, Susan, thank you, and oh my god, I, I never thought I can stand here because I'm not nominated by anything, but um, uh, yes, it's struggle, it's hard, but I have to say I'm glad I, I still hook on it, I am glad I, I still, uh, we never forgive to, uh, we never give up to, and we still have ch have hope, and we still give it a chance, and all of us, all of our post-production, our producer, our director, our writer, and all of us, and are still working on it, and still try our best, and it got this, and I'm so glad, thank you all, thank you for still giving hope to us, thank you. So for those of you who don't know what that story is, I'm going to tell you because it's really important as filmmakers to hear these kind of stories. So um, Fusan and Morgan and Alfonso set out to make a 30-minute film, and they made a 30-minute film, but 30-minute film wasn't working so well. And they edited and edited, and Lucia worked and worked, and it still wasn't working so well. And perhaps they had words because Lucia had one point of view and the gentleman had another point of view. And then Lucia went away to China and she came back and she said, you know what, um, I just sort of did this 15 minute version. Can, can I show you guys what I did? And that version is a kick film. Notice I didn't swear tonight. Uh, Melissa's very happy. Um, it is an amazing film that you can all see now. And it really was because the editor worked and showed the director. And then the director and the producer and everybody worked on her cut. It wasn't perfect the first time out. But it was a group collaborative effort. And these people really killed themselves and never gave up on their movie and never gave up on their story. And Jack, who is amazing, sits with all of the directors and works through all the edits, cut by cut, to make the films. And, and this film is really, really, really good now. And that's a team effort. And that's, that's the con contribution of an editor and director being willing to work as part of a team. And just instead of saying my way or the highway or giving up, because many, many films get rewritten in the editing room. And it's, we're not just saying it. This film won because of that. So enough preaching. So the best picture over 15 minutes. I, I do want to personally apologize. Next year when we do this, everybody's going to send in three trailers because it's getting boring. Um, so best film over 15 minutes. Hi, everyone. My name is Aisa. I'm from Kazakhstan. Uh, and I'm a producer of I Am Going to Paris, which is nominated for Best Picture. Uh, my name is Kai Shan Cheng. I'm nominated for Best Picture for Esperanza.
Seraph Liu, as he so. Thanks for the hospitality. I'm sorry. Who are you? No, he's just a friend, Ma. Uh, my Chinese name is Tian Yuan. My film is somebody new. How do I look? Hey, you got the wrong floor. Girls is one up. Hi, I'm Jonathan. Oh. You keep hanging out with this freak, your business is gonna disappear. What makes you think you got the right to do whatever you want, whenever you want, to whoever you want? Uh, my name is Timo Yang. My film is All Dark Glitters. The client's brief asked us to. I'm a doer, not a talker. And you're never going to be able to do what you want until you can talk about it. You're such a good storyteller when you're out of your stupid head. You're the shit, dude. And whoever doesn't think so is an idiot. And the award for best picture over 15 minutes goes to Esperanza. <laughs> Esperanza, calm down. I am asking for your help. I need your help and you won't give it. All those people out there, they are in need. Some of them need money too. Cosas terribles le van a pasar. ¿Y por qué debería importarme tu hijo? ¿Por qué no pídele a Skylar resto dinero? Sorry, Miss Skylar, I needed the money for Sofia. Um. And uh, yeah, um, there's just only one thing I, I would like to do right here is I would like to ask all the crew who's on this project and who's sitting in the room, right? could you please stand up? And could, could you, I know, I know you guys are over here. Everyone who is with me, just give me a call. Yeah. Yeah. Please stand up, all right? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. few final words. Do not get up and run for the exits. That's not the few final words. Um, the Academy is doing something rather extraordinary for our students. On May 30th, we're going to be having a screening in Hollyweird. Actually, literally, it'll be in Beverly Hills. But we will be screening in Hollywood on May 30th for a hopefully large group of industry people because we took a theater that seats 400 people. And all the faculty are very busy inviting every person they conceivably know to show up who are agents and managers, studio executives, and even established directors. Um, and it's the first time we've done this, but this is how proud we are of our film. So obviously, if any of you want a caravan down to LA on May 30th, let us know, because we'll be running the films or at least a fair number of the thesis films. Um, tomorrow, well, I'll start one other thing. On May 17th at the spring show when the doors are open, and afterwards, um, all of the nominees for Best Picture Over and Under, and most of the docs, or maybe all the docs, the videos, some of the commercials, will all be running at spring show. So if you want to see whole films of any of these, other than going to the site, you can go to Spring Show. And again, we're having industry people come and they'll be able to see your films. And finally, tomorrow at 9 o'clock, Randy and I were at Trader Joe's buying muffins and other things this morning at 9 a.m. Um, and we'll be serving them to you tomorrow at 9 a.m. along with Starbucks and apple juice. Um, I hope you don't like a lot because Randy only bought four bottles of apple juice. Um, he assured me you wouldn't want to drink that much apple juice. Um, but um, handpicked by us. So we will have coffee and sweet rolls at 9 a.m. Fred, Claire, Roy, and a wonderful production designer, art director, are going to be doing a panel um, where they're going to talk about how they broke in and other things. And then all of you get to bombard them with questions. And do you take interns will be not answered. Um, 
And then we're going to run the winning films. So all of the winning films will run in their entirety, starting somewhere around 10.30, quarter of 11, if you want to come to support the winners. And finally, that's it. And so we want to thank you. You guys are terrific. I mean, you guys are fabulous. And to the parents in the audience, thank you for your children. Good night.